Hi everybody, God bless you. This video is called Lucifer, the God of this world. In this video, I'm going to reveal the position of Lucifer, the power of Lucifer, his control, and also the spiritual warfare that is taking place today. Lucifer was cast out of heaven from the throne of God, from his glory. And he was cast out from the glory of the presence of God to the second heaven. And that is where the kingdom of Lucifer is established today, the second heaven above the firmament of the earth, ruled over by princes, fallen angels, demon princes, principalities they are called, principalities. That means that they are princes over a polity. A polity is a region, a territory, and so these fallen angels, these demon princes are princes that are under the control of Lucifer and they control nations and they control the earth. Lucifer has control of this world but there is an appointed time for him to be bound and for him to be chained and for him to be cast into the bottomless pit. There is an appointed time. His dominion will come to an end. His rule will come to an end. Is prophesied and surely it will come to pass. All religions across the earth are of the devil apart from true Christianity of course. All religions across the earth are of the devil that's the truth they are controlled by the devil he is the father of lies and he is the father of all lies. It doesn't matter if it's Buddhism or Hinduism or Mormonism or Catholicism or any ism. Lucifer is behind all deception. He is the father of lies. There is no truth in him. Lucifer wants people to be blinded from the truth of the gospel. He does not want them to look to Jesus Christ. He does not want them to be saved by the truth of the gospel preached unto them. He wants them to believe a lie because he is the father of lies. He wants them to believe in Buddhism. He wants them to walk in the path of Freemasonry. He wants them to walk in the path of Jesuitism or Catholicism or Satanism or witchcraft or sorcery. Lucifer does not want people to hear the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He doesn't want that. He wants them to believe a lie. Because he is the father of lies. And in the parable of the wheat and the tares. You have the tares that are sown by the devil into the world. They're sown by the devil, they're planted by the devil. There are many cults today, there are many religions today, but they are of the devil. They are controlled by Lucifer. There's only one way to God the Father. There's only one way, and that is by his only begotten Son, the Lord risen Jesus Christ. There's no other way to God the Father. No other way. You cannot come to God by Mary, or a saint, or a priest, or a bishop, or a cardinal, or anyone else, or a pope. There is only one name given under heaven by which we must be saved, and that is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way of salvation but 
to get back to the message, Lucifer is the god of this world. That means that he rules over this world. He will give his power unto the scarlet colored beast. He will give his power and his authority unto the beast. Which will rule over the ten kings and the world government and the world religion. Today we have a world religion. We have a one world religion. But it's Lucifer that is behind all of these religions. And it is Lucifer that is uniting all of these religions. Ultimately, ultimately, the Antichrist will establish his throne at Jerusalem. That's the truth. He will establish his throne at Jerusalem. And at Jerusalem you will have all religions and all governments at Jerusalem. You will have a one world government, you will have a one world religion at Jerusalem. And the Antichrist will have his throne at Jerusalem and he will have authority over all religions and over all governments. This is what the Bible prophesies, this is what the Bible reveals and this is the plan of the devil. This is the plan of Lucifer. He wanted to ascend. He wanted to be in the place of the Most High. He wanted to be in the place of God. And he cannot do that. So therefore, he wants to control Jerusalem. He wants to be in complete control over Jerusalem. He wants to have control over Jerusalem. And he wants to have a world government and a one world religion that he can control through the Antichrist from Jerusalem. Lucifer is the god of this world. When you read the book of Revelation, it's very clear that Satan will lose. He will fail. He will lose. It's very clear also that the kings of the earth and the armies of the earth will make war against Jesus Christ, but they also will fail and they will lose. Jesus Christ himself will come on his glorious white horse with the armies of heaven and he will come to Mount Zion. He will also come to the Mount of Olives and he will bring his kingdom upon the earth and he will destroy the beast and the false prophet and he will destroy the armies of the beast and he will establish his kingdom upon this earth. And that is what the book of Revelation reveals. Nothing can stop this. It is prophesied. It will come to pass. But Lucifer is working through Freemasonry. Freemasonry is Luciferian. At the highest levels of the Masonic orders, it's Luciferian. It's the same with the Jesuits. At the highest levels, they are Luciferian. It's the same with Mormonism. They're Masonic, but at the highest levels, they're Luciferian. It's the same with the Jehovah's Witnesses. At the highest levels, they're Luciferian. Same with Islam. Islam, at the highest levels, they're Luciferian. That's the truth. That's the truth. Years ago, the Pope of Rome united all religions. But, as I've shared previously, the papacy will be destroyed. And the office and the position of the Pope of Rome will no longer oversee the world government or the world religion. The Antichrist will destroy the Great Whore, burn her with fire, with the Ten Kings. So it's very clear that even though the Antichrist comes to power from the papacy, he in fact will destroy the papacy with the Ten Kings. But this is the plan of the devil. This is the plan of Lucifer. He has worked through the Vatican to destroy and attack and persecute the true Church of God throughout history. 
but he will destroy the papacy through his beast, his man beast, the scarlet colour beast, the Antichrist. He will destroy the papacy and bring forth his Antichrist to power to rule over a world government and a world religion from Jerusalem. That's right. That's right. The world government and the one world religion will be controlled from Jerusalem. And that is where the throne of Antichrist will be. It will be at Jerusalem. But Satan is the god of this world. Lucifer, right now, he is the god of this world. And his demon princes, his fallen angels, his princes rule over nations and they rule over the entire earth until Jesus Christ comes to rule and reign over the earth. God bless you. I want to thank you for watching the video. It's not a long video. But I wanted to bring an upload on the channel and I recently uploaded some videos and I took them off but I'm going to keep this one on. Lucifer is the god of this world and there are thousands upon thousands of demon princes and they rule in the second heaven. They rule over the earth. It is the plan of Lucifer to destroy the Vatican, to destroy the papacy, but the Antichrist will come from the papal structure. That is important to understand. The Antichrist will come from the papal structure. But the plan of Lucifer is to destroy the great whore, destroy the papacy, but the Antichrist will rise to power and come from the papal structure. Lucifer has used the Vatican to unify all religions, to bring a one world government, to bring a one world religion. That one world government and that one world religion will no longer be ruled from Rome, the city on seven hills, the papacy, Vatican City. The one world government and the one world religion of the future will be ruled from Jerusalem. From the Temple Mount, that will be the throne of the Antichrist. My name is Alan Lamont, thank you for listening. And as always, all roads lead to Rome, but they will lead to Jerusalem.